Um, John Robert wants to know, how do you get XP on a virtual desktop? On a virtual machine? Is that what we're asking? Or do you mean, oh, on, on, the, on, the, on the cube face? That is done strictly by having VirtualBox or VMware installed, booting your, your system. See, if I, if I, if I were to minimize this, you'd, it would make a little more sense, I think, um, if you were to see it this way. Right? See how it's in, it's in a window here. So if I boot Windows XP, that's all it is. It's just a program running uh, Windows XP on my Linux computer. So here's Linux. Here's Windows XP booting within v, uh, VirtualBox. This can be done with VMware as well, like I say. So then I hit control, my right control key and the F button, and that blows it up to full screen. Once I log in, it's going to automatically resize the desktop to take up my entire screen. That's a, that's a feature of VirtualBox. And then I can just hit the right control key to release my mouse and keyboard, and then hit Control-Alt and spin my cube. And then I've basically got a fully working Windows XP installation over here, and I can switch back and forth just like that. It's very sleek. And I've actually used it for, you know, even for audio production and things like that. It's beautiful. Nice to be able to go back and, for, back and forth. If I'm doing video encoding mm -hmm. on a quad-core computer, I can be doing that in Windows because I, some of my software requires that. And then I can go back to Linux just by flipping things around. Great. No problem, John Robert.